Oh, great, it's you. Ugh. I hope you're ready to let us out. Cos we're getting married tomorrow and these nails won't manicure themselves. I'd make yourselves comfortable if I were you. But we haven't done anything wrong. Look, are you sure you've got the right van? We have a witness that give a very clear description. And did they get a number plate? No, but how many 18 vans you see knocking about? Which begs the question, do you honestly believe if we were going to rob somewhere, we'd hire the flipping 18 van as a getaway vehicle? And yet, I don't hear you denying it. We only got the stupid thing this morning and... Oh, my God! What is it? She set us up. Who did? Snide, miserable. No, she wouldn't have done it on purpose, babe. Who wouldn't? Moira Dingle. Thanks. Have you heard anything from Amy? Yeah, she's having an amazing time, apparently, but I refuse to believe Compton's actually that fun. <laughs> I'm good you're going back to Aberdeen. I thought you were going to stick around now you and Amy have sorted things out. Yeah, well, it's not like I've got a choice. You know, I want an easy life for me and the baby, and I'm never going to get that here. <laughs> Yeah, but I only picked it up this morning. Yep, sure. Yeah, I'll be straight over. OK, bye. They've been arrested. Who has? Charity and Mackenzie. Some sort of problem with the van. They want me to go over there with the details. Come on, we should get going. Oh, great. You're supposed to be getting married tomorrow. Yeah, well, if it doesn't happen, Charity's had a lucky escape. Let me tell you this now. If we miss one second of our own wedding, I'm holding your sister personally responsible. This was obviously just a massive mix-up. And I'll tell you something else as well. I'm going to make this marriage work just to spite her. See who's lacking then. You do really say the most romantic things, you know that? Wow, you guys have some issues? No, we don't. We've got no issues. Sounds like it. Look, do you want my advice? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, always wanted relationship advice from some old drunk in a cell. Ask yourself this. How well do you really know each other? Marriage is a huge step, and you don't want any nasty surprises down the line. I am so over this being pregnant thing. Well, you look radiant and glowing and... Stretched beyond all proportion. Oh, we're doing a, a pamper night, if you want to join. Oh. We offer firming deep cleanse or plumping. Ooh, I could do with a deep cleanse. Get myself all ready for a big day tomorrow. If it's still on. What do you mean? Haven't you heard? Charity and Mackenzie got themselves arrested. What for? No idea. Your mum's been at the station today trying to sort things out. Oh, great. I'm the last to know anything, as always. Does anyone else fancy a gherkin? Weird. Is that like a craving or something? No, not everything has to revolve around this massive bun stuck in my oven. Sometimes I just want a gherkin. <laughs> Oh, my God. What's that? I think my waters have just broke. We're solid. We're in love. And we're not even the problem here. And, yeah, we have our fair share of ups and downs like any couple. But I trust him with my life. Yeah, and that goes both ways. I was only trying to help. Well, don't bother. Um, OK, uh, the slippers are by my bed and the hospital bag is in my wardrobe. OK. All right, I've got, I've got, I've got the towels. There's towels and hot water, isn't it? I'll fill up a bowl. Matty? Yeah? I am not giving birth here. We don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, of course, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I've got no idea, but I, I need you to drive me to hospital, OK? Yeah, yeah. I would not be marrying him if I had a single doubt in my mind. And I am not doing this without my birthing buddy, OK? So phone Amy and... <sighs> and tell her that the baby's coming and that I need her here. You won't be on your own. I'll be there to, um... No, yeah, I'll phone Amy. I'll bring the car around, yeah? <sighs> OK, OK, this is it, little fella. We're finally going to get to meet each other. Just, just... Please, go easy on me, OK? Sometimes I feel like the whole world's against us. But I'm not going to let anyone or anything stand in the way of our happy ever after. <laughs>